Hey guys, this is David Truitt with Great Choice Audio Video. Hey, today I'm super excited to show you guys that we have the Screen Innovations Indoor Shades. Now, one thing that's special about their shades is that they can be totally wireless or they can be wired. So, that being said, there's multiple ways to control the shades. And there's three different types of shades that we can do. You have a light filtering shade, you have a sunscreen shade, and you have a blackout shade. Now, what we have here in our showroom is a dual shade. So for someone that wants kind of the best of both worlds, two different shades, they, don't, they want more than just light filtering or sunscreen, but they also want to do blackout, this is where this shade is going to shine because we can do both of this one shade. So we have um, light filtering, and then we also have a blackout in this one cassette. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Screen Innovations and their shades and some of the things they do differently. One thing is that these are their cassettes. They make them in several different sizes and they're all powder coated to finish and there's custom colors available and then there's a bunch of different standard colors also. So um, there's a ton of different fabrics to choose from, whether they're, uh, like I said, light filtering, sunscreen or blackout. And we have a bunch of samples that we can show you guys and, and see what's available. But um, another thing that makes them completely different is the way they mount. The mounting system, uh, whether it's an inside mount, which that's what this one is, or outside mount, super easy, super clean, and uh, the fit and finish is just super nice. And uh, another big thing that's completely different is there's other screens on the market that use batteries for a wireless shade. Well, what Screen Innovations does is they have a charging system and I'll show you real fast it's just a regular plug on one end but it's a magnetized end on the other side so which makes it super easy and if the shades are really tall um, there's an atta attachment <clears throat> that you put onto a pole and then you just reach up and what's cool is you do not have to be exact so it makes it super easy to, to uh, do and now you only have to do this um, once uh, about six hours worth of charging will roughly give you, you know, two years worth of, you know, up and down based off, you know, five times a day uh, at the most. So anyway, so the way it works is there's a little port on the side. You just take a connector and once you get close to it, see, that's it. It connects to it, plug it in. It's got a long, super long cable. You can actually get, ex you know, more extension cables if it's way up there, but, um, uh, this should be sufficient for most, most uh, shades that are installed on windows. But yeah, you just plug it in, let it sit there for six hours, and then when you're done, pop it off, and then do it again two years later, two and a half years later, just depending on how much of you guys uh, use the shade. So super easy, super clean. You don't have to worry about taking the cassette down. You don't have to worry about popping old batteries out, popping 16 more in, or, or, or however many that shade takes. So super super nice one thing i mentioned earlier in the video that as far as charging times super easy to charge but as far as how long it lasts it depends a lot on the size of the window earlier i think i may have said uh up to two years but i uh, stand to be corrected it should be you know a year year and a half just depends on the size of the window if it's a single shade it's a dual shade and that sort of thing but again don't have to worry about batteries guys all you have to do is put the simple magnetic connector up to the cop let it sit for six hours, gets you a full charge. Don't have to do it for quite some time. So another thing I want to show you guys is the different cassettes. So there's, there's three different sizes, depending if you do a single shade, a dual shade, um, and then also which fabric you pick. You know, depending on the fabric uh, thickness and the length of the window depends on, you know, the size of the, these cassettes. So uh, for a lot of the times you can do what's called the, the small 275 which is two and three quarters. So super small, you know, nice fit and finish. You know, like obviously this is much smaller than this one. And we're just showing you today the dual shade. So, you know, let's say you don't want a dual shade, you want a single shade. Most likely it will be in a cassette like this, a smaller, a smaller um, fit and finish. So that goes up there, or you have the next size up, which is the 375. And again, these can be powder coated to any color that you want. And uh, depending on what shade material will go inside of this as well. So, but let's say you don't want this type of look. 
Um, this is a uh, closed cassette. They do make an open. So you would have something like this. And so you would see the open roll going between the two end piece, the end caps. And these are also powder coated to whatever color you want uh, to match your decor. So very cool. Now, the nice thing about these shades is there's multiple ways to control them. So let's say you don't want or don't have a control system. You know, whether it's a Savant, Elan, Crestron, all those different brands out there. Um, you just want just standalone shades. You just want to be able to open them, close them, maybe even schedule them to come, you know, go up and down throughout the day automatically. You don't need a third party control system to do that. So that being said, there's a handheld remote that's available. Now, because this is a dual shade, um, we won't be able to operate with one remote, both shades. So since there's two shades, that would be two channels. So with this simple remote, we programmed channel one. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's four lights. So with this button press right here, when I press it, it's channel one. Press it again, channel two, channel three, channel four, and so on. So we want to do channel one, which we've programmed to be the blackout shade. So simple down. And you can see our blackout shade is coming down. And with that one button press, it'll go completely down. Now there's a middle button right there and you can actually press at any point during it's coming down or going up. Um, to stop it. So if you want to go to an exact spot, you want to go 30%, 60%, whatever it may be, um, you're able to do that. But as you can see, you know, it's completely dark through here. You can't see through it, totally blacked out, looks nice and clean. Um, this is what you would call a blackout shade. You know, it's a room that you want no light pretty much coming in. And then to take that a step further, uh, some windows, you can even add uh, side rails. So uh, as you notice, you have a small on this side, a little light gap. Let's say you want no light coming through whatsoever, even on the edges. And sometimes you'll get an eighth of an inch. To get rid of that, you would use, you would install what we call side rails and, and that can be done as well. So during the ordering process of, uh, of your shades. So let's make this shade go up. As you can see, I'll make the other shade. I'll go to channel two, which is your light filtering shade. And you'll see as this one comes down and the blackout shade goes up, what a huge difference is of how much light comes through it. See, and we're also on a cloudy day, probably should have picked a day that's a lot more bright. But as you can see, <clears throat> there is light coming through. You can actually see the stickers we have on our window. But a light filtering shade is going to be a shade that um, keeps, allows light to shine through, but doesn't allow someone to physically see a person. You know, you're walking around your living room, whatever. Uh, it doesn't allow anybody to actually see anybody through it. That would be light filtering. Um, a sunscreen shade would be, you know, you would see a person, you would see movement um, through the shade. So that would give you even more light coming through and less privacy. Okay, now that I've shown you guys uh, a little bit about how the shades can be controlled with a handheld remote uh, for standalone operation, uh, another way you could do it uh, is through the, through the app on your mobile device, whether it's iPhone or Android. And uh, I'll show you here in a second as far as how that works. Um, again, you don't need a third party uh, control system. They can be standalone even through the app. And what you can do with the app is, you know, individually up and down, raise, lower, that kind of thing. But you could also schedule the lights all through the app for the shades without having to buy anything else. So uh, very simple to use, lots of cool solutions, you know, from a dual shade to a single shade, you know, um, the way it's charged, the nice easy uh, installation of the cassettes, clean, nice fit and finish, custom colors tons of different types of fabric. So here's a great way to make, you know, all your window treatments match and look super nice, control them, you know, automate them without even a control system to do that. So now with that being said too, I want to show you a control system and we use a lawn and I'll show you on the touch panel, simple controls from like a dimmer, you know, raising it up and down to a certain percentage, 
Um, and then we also created some custom buttons, you know, 25%, 50%, that sort of thing to make it easy for operation. So it can be controlled by a third party uh, control system as well. But it, you don't necessarily need that. So super, super cool guys. Let me show you the app real fast, walk you through it just for just a brief moment. And then I'll take you guys to the touch panel. So here we go. Hey guys, real quick for the standalone operation. I just want to show you the app uh, to control the shades. So it's very, very simple. So here's where I have my homepage from the app. And I have one shade, but it has two types of fabric in it. So we have the uh, shade here for blackout and for light filtering. And then we also have a plug here. So it's simple. Uh, we just select the shade and it tells us uh, real time feedback. And hopefully, you guys can see that right there. And uh, it gives us a battery readout, so like we're at 83%. And it says the shade is completely down at 100%. So super simple. So literally it's dragging it up, let's say to 50%, how about 49%. And then now the shade's gonna go up 49%. Super simple to operate, gives you two-way feedback. You know exactly where the shade's at. I'm gonna lower it back down, drag it, lower it down, let's say 75%, 76%. How's that? And now the shade is going down. So now if you want to go over to the other shade, say you have multiple shades or or, mul or dual shades like this particular case, go back here and let's select the other shade and let's bring that one down. Super cool how you can slide it up and down, arrow up and down. I prefer to pull it down and you can see the percentage right there. This tells us we're at 82%, 44% as far as coming down. We can tell it to stop right there. And guys, it's really simple as that. So for standalone operation, you know, without a third party system, you just want to be able to control your shades with the handheld remote I showed earlier, or this app, very, very simple to use. So, um, pretty nippy. So there you go. All right guys, so let me show you real quick. This is the Elon control system. This is on their eight inch touch panel and uh, we're integrating these same shades, these blackout shades and light filtering shades, uh, the duo shade that we've installed into our showroom. Uh, we have that integrated into the control system. So what's really cool is that it also gives our control system two-way feedback, meaning as you can see here, it's showing that both shades, we have shade light filtering and shade blackout completely up 100%. So, Let's say I want just the light filtering shade to come down, but I only want it to go down 50%. I have two ways of doing that. I created a dimmer, so I can grab this and see as I come down, changes the percentage. Let's say maybe I want 54%. And now the shade is coming down 54%. Now, let's say I want the shade to go right back up. Go back up to 100%. And now the shade is going right back up. So that's telling me if I want to go in, in any kind of increments going down or up where I'm at with the shade, whether it's the light filtering shade or the blackout shade, because this particular shade is a dual shade. Now you don't have to do a dual shade. Let's say you just want a single shade. You want to do only light filtering or you want to only do blackout. You know, that's available as well. We're just showing both because we couldn't decide if we wanted light filtering or blackout. So, hey, we wanted the best of both worlds. So, um, now let's say we want to go 50%. I select it. Now, it goes blank because it's in the process of doing that command. When it gets to the end of that command, you'll see it highlight the color of the button that it did. In just one second, it's almost there. And you'll see the feedback. And there it is. So now the shade has stopped and it's now at 50% because that's the button that I pressed for white filtering. And the same thing goes for blackout. So super cool. This is a custom page that we created. Um, there's obviously you can do whatever you want. We just chose uh, the most common things that we would think we would use, which is the 25%, 50%, 75%, all up or all down. And then we create a dimmer just to get anywhere in between if we wanted to do that. Now, that's you know hitting the button manually doing it every time. Now in our control system, we can also do scheduling. So real quick, I'm gonna take you to the scheduling tab through our lighting control system. 
And so we have a schedule and as easy as we're gonna add that button, which is a shade. So we have blackout, we have um, sun uh, light filtering. So we'll just create it and then we can actually tell it, hey, I want it to go to 40%, add that. And now in my schedule, I can tell that shade to go 40% at whatever time that I create or go by sunset or sunrise. So very easy integration, very easy to control through our Elan control system and uh, super nice, super clean and totally customizable. So there's another way of doing screen innovation shades, whether it's standalone or third party integration. Very slick, very cool. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Like the video, really helps it out. And hope to see you guys next time. Thanks. And I don't know if you saw, but check out the new hats, guys. Uh, leave a comment down below. Want to see what you guys think of the new hats. These are crazy cool. We just got these in. Check out the leather, leather logo. This is, I believe, uh, stained in red. So crazy cool. So just got those in if you like them. Say you like them down below. If you don't like them, say you don't like them. Or if you want one, let us know.